Example 2. No correlation. Heights of presidents and heights of their main opponents. Listed below are the heights in centimeters of presidents and heights in centimeters of their main opponents in the election. So here, um, the ones that are listed have the heights and the heights of their opponent because with Washington, we don't know what the heights there. It was left blank because they didn't have those particular heights. This is the data that's collected from the back of the textbook. So they're going to graph the ordered pairs that they can graph. Now, when they graph these on a scatter plot, you can see that the heights of the president is on the x-axis. Okay, and we're ranging it from 165 to 195, and then the heights of their opponent is on the y-axis. Now, when you look at this graph, you can see that there's points that are kind of all over the place. It doesn't give you sort of a unique pattern for you to see what's happening, whether it's increasing or decreasing. So we would say that the scatter plot of the paired heights is above. Now the points do not show any obvious pattern, and this lack of pattern suggests that there is no correlation between heights of presidents and heights of their opponents. And again, notice that the axes are labeled and the graph has a title. This helps again the reader, uh, the reader interpret the information in the graph. Now, no correlation tells us that the plotted points do not show a distinct pattern. So it appears that there is no correlation between heights of presidents and heights of their main opponents.